Hey, hello everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back, playing some more StarCraft II, continuing Wings of Liberty. Let's go to Valhalla and play another Rebellion mission. The decrypted adjutant contains records proving Mansk ordered the massacre on Tarsonis. Now we just need to broadcast those records. Mirahan gave us a tip that might help. The Dominion is unveiling a new war machine called the Odin on Core Hall. If we hijack the Odin, we can use it to gain access to the UNN studios and broadcast the records of Mansk's war crimes. The Odin is currently in the testing facility on Valhalla. Let's do it. Giant mech heist. Our team's in position. We're ready to steal the Odin. Are you absolutely sure about this, sir? Yep. Tychus is definitely our best man for this kind of job. He does get a little excited in combat. We're gonna need to keep up with him once the fighting starts. And if he can actually commandeer the Odin, it's vital that we take out all the Dominion bases in the area. Hopefully we can block all transmissions long enough for him to do that. We can't risk word of this getting back to Core Hall. How much do we know about this Odin? It's an experimental super heavy siege walker designed for prolonged frontline combat. Very powerful. Great. Even Tychus can't wreck it then. Here they go. Go, go, go! So there's a secondary objective and an achievement to find and destroy the Loki, which is an experimental battle cruiser. And then the second achievement is to not let the Odin drop below 30% of its total life. I don't know what that is, but we'll do our best. I think the 30% line is when it starts flashing at you that there's critical shutdown imminent or something like that. And this first section is surprisingly challenging to not lose any units on, including Tychus. So we'll go for it. Let's go, Tychus. This ain't a stealth mission anymore, ladies. Bring it loud and fast. Okay, no problem. Tychus won't actually continue until you get close to him again. So that gives you time to pick up the devour tissue sample and get healed up. We can stim again. Uh, sir, you seem to have found something very interesting there. If you can bring me a sample in the lab, that would be great. Activate the auto turrets! So that's pretty lucky we only activated one of the auto turrets when they both activate he takes a boatload of damage let's get up there and just support him again as long as we're healing him we'll be okay and there is one more turret oh dear oh okay he was close Stuck on transmit, sir. He can't hear us at all. Defenses are coming online at the Dominion bases. Wonderful. Get our base set up ASAP. We'll just have to follow him in and hope he doesn't get too crazy. I hope I kid. I like how the timing of this map is based around the fact that he can't hear us or just refuses to listen to us. So lots of wraiths and a couple science vessels should do us good this map. There isn't that much detection, so you can use strategic wraiths pretty effectively. We saved all our marines at the beginning, and those medics will come in handy in healing our SCVs that are repairing the Odin. SCV and we can have these marines help us against the battle cruisers a little bit at the beginning, because they only target the Odin. So you can just leave units down there, and they'll, they'll help them out. SCV ready. Here they come. Sir, I'm picking up Dominion battle cruisers on an intercept course with the Odin. Hey, Hotshot, you want these Wraith fighters now? They'll take down a battle cruiser easy. You can build more to stop for. Okay, we get a starport without a tech lab. Thanks, asshole. Need the tech lab for the Wraiths. SCV ready. Okay, there we go. And then let's load up our bunker. And we'll bring a couple SCVs down to heal the Odin. 
We want the Odin doing pretty much all the damage to the first base by itself. Don't really support it. Just with some heals, and that's it. Just because we want as much time as possible to get set up at this point, so we just build more wraiths at home. So what's the plan now, Commander? Trash them bases, right? Uh, Jimmy? Partner? Can you hear me? Well, if you ain't gonna tell me not to have a little fun... I'm gonna have a little fun. <laughs> oh, here I go. Okay, and we'll just we'll just go up and repair him when he really needs it, because when you when you're repairing the Odin, all the enemies will kill your SCVs. Some of this. Like immediately. So we might as well only dive in there and do it when we need to. He does tend to prioritize air units though. So the ground units can just peck away at him while he's trying to kill, yeah, you know, like a medevac here or something. It takes him like three or four shots to do it. And that, but again, we can just dive in there when we absolutely need to. All right, more SCVs. Keep making rates at home, and I think I'll grab a second starport here when I can afford it, which is now. And we want to get an engineering bay, which will help us. Which will help us get uh, well ground upgrades, but then also turrets, turrets of varying kinds. 2,500 HP means 30% something like, I don't know, seven or 800. So he still doesn't dip below that. And I'm pretty sure it's when it says that Odin is near criti critical damage failure or something like that. So as long as we don't see that, that means we still we still have it. And as long as there aren't enemies attacking my units we're, or my, my SCVs, then we're in fine shape. All right, well, let's back away here. Let the Odin kill this stuff. Keep making SCVs and keep making rates for the second base. And the longer he takes here, the better, because again, this allows us to get more rates out. I think the second base is the hardest area to Our allies to, uh, to get the Odin through and not take too much damage for that 30%. And we'll just bring more SCVs. We'll bring more SCVs to heal him up when we do it. We'll bring like five or six of them, and then we can use those SCVs to set up the a new base. And I also think that we're going to want to get some science vessels out, but we don't need them right away. I'd rather just focus on the rates. Okay, this will get set up. Just keep me repaired, Jimmy. I'll whip this whole war for you. Does he always talk this much, sir? Yep, once you get him in a fight, he never shuts up. Well, now that's done with. I'm going to take me a little break. Good thing I brought me some liquid refreshment. Okay, so we have a bit of a breather. Not much. Let's not get supply blocked. And we've got our starports hotkeyed so we can just make more wraiths. We've got a decent amount right now. And if we could get two more out, that would be cool, but I don't think we will in time. And we just want to dive in there. And we just want to dive in there, destroy the detection, and then we can support the Odin as much as we need to. I'll bring even six SCVs. Kind of overkill, but that's fine. And we'll just make sure we use our energy for mules. If we could get these two other wraiths out, that would be ideal. And constantly on the verge of getting supply blocked. Okay, so let's, let's move on up. We'll get the SCVs kind of close. And again, as long as we support the Odin, so let's just get on up here and attack, hit this, and then hit the Raven. Okay, and they don't have any other detection here, so we can just sit here and support it, and then let's let's get our SCVs in here to start repairing. The enemy will divert to attack them, but that's fine. We run and we repair for a minute, get it all repaired up, and it's fine. This battle cruiser is still here. Let's uh, let's do this. Be careful, SCVs. You don't need to be repairing, so we'll back you up. Okay, excellent. And then we can just leave our SCVs to sit here, or our wraiths to sit here and do some damage. All right, I think it's time we back them out. They can get repaired. And let's grab some science vessels now. We don't need too many of them. I also would like siege breakers to defend our base up here. Odin is fine. Again, it's it still has a lot of HP, so we're going to let this slowly destroy this. We're going to take this base like as soon as possible. Let's get these guys set up. Insufficient gas. And we're short on gas, but we're about to get two other geysers. And the auto refineries will allow them to... Okay. Flashy red button. 
allow them to return to us like immediately. Okay, he's healed back up. Let's grab these and a command center and then a couple turrets How about like like here and like that. That should do it. And then let's grab one medic and grab our next bonus objective. And then wraiths just sit here. idea what that is. Can you bring me a sample in the lab? Maybe something good will come of it. Go ahead. Okay, oh. new group of SCVs get on up here yes, for the sir. Odin. What's going on? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, and then the science vessels provide that little bit of extra healing. I think my medics were killed, <gasps> unfortunately. We can always make more of them. All right, repair here. Our SCVs yeah, I guess these guys, are, they're long distance mining at this point. Whoops, because uh, it wasn't finished yet. Cellular reactor is doing good work for us on this map. We can grab more wraiths. And I think we also want to set up a little bit of defense down here, because I think they come down here to attack at some point. So let's just set up a couple turrets. Looks good. And then we should make sure that we're continuing our upgrades plus three for that extra attack damage, but also attack speed. Come on. Okay, and I think we have a decent amount of wraiths now. We could definitely use more, but let's just move in. We'll cloak, and we'll just sit on top of the Odin. And then we'll have the, the science vessels healing, but then also dip, dip in there with SCVs occasionally. And as long as the wraiths are just sitting there cloaked, then he's going to be fine. So let's just cloak. We can move on in and hit some other stuff, like get the tanks. Okay, and keep the SCVs back, and let's try to rebuild some of these medics. Because they did keep my SCVs alive, and that was really, really useful. Science vessels move on in. I don't think that they do. Alright, just focus on the air units. Okay, excellent. And I think it's pretty much... I pretty much... Can let it sit here and and finish up the enemy by itself. Like we, as long as the wraiths are there, they'll get healed by our. Uh, they'll get healed by our science vessels. We're about to get supply blocks, so let's just queue up a bunch of depots. All right, SCVs. Okay, banshees go down pretty quick. We're losing wraiths or occasionally, but again, this is going about as good as it can go. We haven't lost any, uh... I don't think we've lost many wraiths, just a few. And the Odin has definitely not dropped below 30%. It's just pushing up these initial ramps. If you just don't have SCVs poised to help, then... Then the Odin will just go down really fast. And your SCVs go down really fast, too. Got plenty of money. It's just constant gas needs. Let's queue up ship plating. We get mercenaries, because, like, why not, I guess? Let's get a few more medics and bring them up here. And I did queue up some extra science vessels as well, which is why we're so short on gas. So we stockpiled gas early, but it was worth it. Okay, Odin, just finish up this stuff. Three bases down. Maybe the convict has his uses after all. Very rude, Mad Horner. You know, I think I'll take me another breather. You better get some backup ready for me, Jimmy. Okay, let's get some more SCVs up here for another repairing group. And also can pick up our our pallets. And then I'm gonna start I'm just gonna spend a bunch of money on mercenaries. Because why not? Base is under attack. Reckon these Dominion boys will put up a fight this time. I ain't barely broke a sweat. 
Okay, let's bring everybody up here and they can help us against... It's not actually the last base. I always think that this is the last base. Okay, we're good. Lost, I think, maybe a couple war pigs trying to defend us on their way out, but that's okay. And we have more wraiths queued up. We can queue up even more. This base seems pretty safe. I don't think they're going to come and attack us with anything up there. Yeah, so we're all we're all square. And then we got a big old group of stuff with some extra medics, and we can queue up some extra marines as well, because why not? And I don't know. There's really This, this mission's basically over. Once you break through the second base, maybe the third base, it's pretty much over. We could take the wraiths and go and destroy the Loki. It's right near this uh, third base. I see your little guys running around down there, Jimmy. <laughs> they look like ants. Receiving headquarters. Okay, so let's start attacking. This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna hurt me. Let's get in there with the SCVs to repair. We've got some extra units down here to help us. Devil dogs, no! You must live. Okay, SCVs are up here. They're repairing. Okay, and he's back up to full HP already. So keep moving up with everybody. And then let's go and kill the Loki here. It does do splash damage, though. So you want to move in and use stop rather than attack move so that its AoE does not hit every single one of your rates. Oh, almost Yamato'd my science vessel, but we're good. These brave, these brave mercenaries down here. Okay, and let's move on in with the rest of our stuff. Look at these brave, these brave devil dogs. They're doing it. They're doing it. I'm so proud. All right, and here's our last devourer tissue samples. We'll snag that. I can't wait to dig into that. Uh, scientifically, I mean. I'm not going to eat it. Okay, and Wraiths really did it for us here. Let's make sure we're rallying back here because we don't want to run units just through an enemy base, which can happen here. Maybe if I was diligent with my... I was diligent with my upgrades. This is gonna get tricky. I'm detecting battle cruisers at the next base, and the Odin doesn't have strong anti-air capabilities. We should have enough Wraiths to handle them. But let's scramble a couple more just to be sure. Now that was fun. Don't worry, old buddy. I'll give you some time to catch up. Well, I'll be. Those Dominion eggheads really thought of everything. Fuck me a moment. Okay, we just got Seeker missile, unfortunately. Ah, they do attack us back here. I suspected as much. Ah, okay, well, let's repair there. Here's another attack. Just these constant ravens and... Okay, cool. Well, none of our stuff got caught out while... They were sending those. There we go. <laughs> you ready yet? We are indeed ready. Let's head our. Let's head down here. Actually, kill this raven. It's probably. It's just going to detect for them if we don't kill it now. Chase it down. There we go. Okay. Then we bring everyone over here. We could set up our siege breakers over here, I guess. Oh, they can see us. Where's the tank that's hitting us? Just go for it. Okay, we are now invisible. We're attacking a little early, but that's okay. Another raven? Just draw the ravens out early, and then they can't do much damage to you. Because they can't see you. Well, something can see us right now. There must be another tank or something. Or a uh, turret or something. Okay, let's auto-attack in. Yeah, there's one turret there. Let's move up with our siege breakers. Get everybody in here. And that's it. The Odin will finish this base up. Just don't fly units through the enemy base because then they will die. Yeah, so your units will die in there too if they're in there, so 
That's why I said stay back, don't fly through the enemy base. They will die. Excellent. With the Odin secured, we can hit the UNN complex on Core Hall and make our broadcast. Hey, can you hear me, Captain? Maybe next time you'll trust old Tychus with a little bit of mayhem. <laughs> That's about all I trust you with, Tychus. Nice. I think that went about as well as it could have. Now, it just says Odin Health Repaired. I have no idea if we... Oh, what the lowest health was, but if it drops below that 30%, I'm pretty sure it says that critical failure imminent thing. We didn't see that, so again, about 99% sure we got it. We definitely destroyed the Loki. Got all the Devourer tissue samples. So again, about as good as it could have gone. Got all those resource pallets, always useful. And just manipulating the AI a bit with the SCVs. The enemy will stop attacking the Odin and go for them for a brief moment. Well, you fought real good out there, Tychus. Your time in the freezer didn't dull your edge none. Well, fear and violence always did bring out the best in me. <laughs> Have to admit, we always did make a good team. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was until I went to prison and you went legit. Right. Womp womp. This is Kate Lockwell reporting from UNN headquarters on Core Hall. Let's go to Donnie Vermillion on special assignment. Kate, I'm very pleased to be talking to General Horace Warfield. General, I understand that Dominion forces will soon be showing off their newest weapon, the Odin War Machine. <laughs> That's correct, Donnie. We'll show the Odin on the streets of Core Hall itself, with full coverage from your fine network. General, Kate Lockwell here. I've heard rumblings about some sort of logistics trouble with the Odin's debut. Now, Kate... It's true, Kate. The Odin was delayed in shipping, and we briefly lost communication with the production facility. But it arrived safely, so we can go ahead with the unveiling. You heard it here first. The Dominion unveiling new weapons of destruction on the streets of Core Hall. What is wrong with that woman? Tell her not to interrupt my interviews! Your boy Horner is actually pulling this off. Gotta see. I'm mighty impressed. That's because he got a lot of experience on Bronte's 4, you know what I'm saying? Also, Kate Lockwell, the only voice of journalistic integrity left in the sector. So how does the Odin raid as a fighting machine? Brother, it is the single greatest creation in the history of mankind. Striding around and dispensing righteous fury. Just about brought a tear to my eye. <laughs> you just let me know when I can take it out for another spin. You'll get your chance soon enough, old buddy. Don't you worry. Ever wonder why Minx don't just send him ghosts to kill ya? You've been a thorn in his side for a long time. Assassinating me just turned me into a martyr. <laughs> He'd never be rid of me then. He needs to kill my reputation first. Very good. You think clearly despite your hate for him. Course his patience has got limits too. Tread careful, Mr. Rena. Someone on this ship is already working for Minsk. I can feel it. As the game goes on, they just lay that on thicker and thicker. Like there's a traitor in our mists, but we're not really following up on it. All right, let's check out the lab. The Dominion is getting into some pretty advanced weapons technology, but their biological sciences are still terrible. 802 to the power of 4 at 12 to the decimal point in the third next door. So, I think we'll go to Haven next. This, so this will be the last time we see Dr. Hansen on the ship. Now, if you just don't do the Haven mission, then she stays on the ship, which is why I've waited so long. So, Swan, what are the chances we can build something like that Odin? You nuts? No way we've got the facilities for mass-producing hardware on that scale. And here I was thinking you could build anything, Swan. Shoot. All right, forget the scale. I'm gonna figure it out, don't you worry. And I'll come up with something a damn sight more practical than that showpiece. You see if I don't. You can do it, buddy. Let's spend the money that we have for the next mission. So, the Wraith upgrades, I, I don't plan on making 
any wraiths, or if any, no, no, banshees are better anti-ground, vikings are slightly better anti-air, so they're not going to get made, even though these upgrades are pretty cool. Wraiths are pretty neat in general, but we just, we're just we just not going to do it. So why don't we just finish up our Goliath upgrades? We can bank the remaining money to make sure that we can afford the Viking mercenaries next time, as well as eventually getting Shaped Blast. And then grabbing Hellstorm batteries, and that's pretty much everything we need. Well, I mean, we've had everything we need for a while now. The rest is just fluff. Okay, to the bridge. Sir, when Tychus came back aboard the ship, I had the techs run a scan on him. Matt, you need to get a hobby. Seriously, sir. His suit contains a sophisticated transponder. If it receives the correct code, it'll shut down all his major organs. That suit is a death trap. He's got a gun to his head. And who's got their finger on the trigger? Mobius? Tychus, what have you gotten yourself into? See? No follow-up. It's a very important thing. Alright, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.